Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. So today, guys, we'll do my Conference League semifinal predictions, guys. So I want to know your guys' predictions in the comments below. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started, man. I'm going to go ahead and get started. So let's start with the first match we got here is Aston Villa versus Olympiacos. What a matchup this is. Aston Villa, man, the prime favorites of this competition. We know how good Unai Emery is in cup competitions. He has an insane record. And we know how good this Aston Villa team and the amount of options they have in the attack. Leon Bailey, Ali Watkins, you know, Paul Torres, Emmy Martinez, everything. That being said, Aston Villa defensively looked very shaky. As we saw against Lille, they were not great in both games defensively. And you know who saved them? Emmy Martinez. Emmy Martinez is one of the best goalkeepers in the world. And I would actually argue, um, yeah, he's one of the best keepers. As for Olympiacos, we know how good this team is. They overcame uh, Ferenbache, you know, a difficult atmosphere in Turkey, and able to win on penalties. And you got to give them that massive credit. Both these teams won the penalty shootout, right? Away from home. So you have to give them that credit. Players to look out for for Olympiacos are obviously Podence, Al Arabi. Um, these players come to mind, obviously, and obviously their goal, uh, manager, Jose. Who Amanda Blar is the coach that actually got Sevilla to win the Europa League. So both these team, both these teams have managers that won the Europa League as managers. Now the thing I worry for uh, um, Olympiacos so is that the first leg is away in England, and I just think that for me, for Olympiacos, if they want to advance, they have to make sure they don't lose the first leg by a big march. If they can avoid a defeat by, if they could lose maybe like one goal, or even get a draw, obviously if you win, it'll be amazing. But realistically, it's probably going to have to be a one goal loss. And I just have a feeling that the second leg, Olympiacos could win. But if it comes down to penalties, I have to favor Aston Villa. Aston Villa. Emmy Martin is just a very good shot stopper, especially in penalty shootouts. We know how good he is with his mind games, with his tricks and everything. And I believe he's only lost one penalty shootout in his entire career. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this one pans out. I really hope Olympiacos can pull through because obviously the finals in Athens and Greece. I just can't bet against Aston Villa. I just can't bet against Una Emery in cup competitions. He's very difficult to beat. And I just think for Olympiacos, man, I think they need to... It's just going to be too difficult for them. It's going to be too difficult because as good as they were against Ferenbache, they really did uh, allow Ferenbache to grow back in the game. And that's where I worry for Olympiacos. They don't have enough firepower in the attack to finish off the game, you know? And that was kind of one of the concerns that uh, almost cost them against Ferenbache. And so, yeah, I have Aston Villa to advance to the Conference League final. Moving on to the other semifinal we got here is Fiorentina versus Club Rouge. Man, Fiorentina this season been struggling. They have not been great goal scoring wise. This team has a really hard time scoring goals, and it's just really struggling. They're struggling right now in Serie A. Right now, the Coppa Italia, they're actually going to be playing the second leg tomorrow against Atalanta. So for Fiorentina, man, what is going to be their main focus? Are they going to be focused on the Coppa Italia or are they going to focus on the Conference League? Because let's be real, Serie A is pretty much done. They're they're not getting European football through the league. So I think if I'm Fiorentina. I think it might. I think they're gonna try to go for both, obviously, but maybe it's better to go for the Copa Italia. Needless to say, though, they have been struggling. This is a team that doesn't score enough goals. Players to look out for is obviously Bonaventaro. Obviously, got Belotti. Uh, you know, actually, I don't think he's really want to look out for. He's a terrible striker. They got Beltron. You know, they're signing from River Plate, and then obviously Nico, uh, Nico Gonzalez. As for Club Rouge, this team has been fantastic. I really like this Club Rouge team, and what they did against Park in the last round was commendable. To win 3 0 aggregate against Polk, one of the best, one of the teams that have surprised a lot of people this season. You know, the fact that Polk destroyed Dynamo Zyger, the beat, the fact that they beat Frankfurt both games is quite insane. And yeah, you have to give credit to, you have to give credit to what Club Rouge did in both games, were able to keep clean sheets. And they did it even without their main goalkeeper, Mingule. And by the way, Mingule is still injured. I don't know if he'll be back in time for this game because he's going to be very much needed. And what I like about this Club Rouge team is they have a lot of options up front. You have Jukala, Ivanikan. Scoles, scores like there's a lot of options um Bruch have in the attack and i really like that whereas Fiorentina for me they have a really hard time of scoring goals and i think the fact that the second leg is in belgium is a huge huge advantage and i just think that for me it's gonna be very fascinating to see what happens because i think this can, this can go either way but you know what guys i have a feeling Bruch is gonna pull through i just have a feeling that Bruch is gonna pull this off because Fiorentina for me just haven't been convincing this year and I just feel like for me, there's something special as a Bruges team. I think they're going to do something remarkable to buy the odds. And I think they're going to make the Conference League final. So there you have it, man. Those are my Conference League semifinal predictions, man. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Please remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.